Hello and welcome back to another Sunvox tutorial. This is part 6 of my Sunvox for Programmers course. And today we're going to do just something really simple. We're going to set up our starting template for Sunvox so that we can open up Sunvox and create the music we want a little bit faster when we want to do that. And just have a template ready for whenever we feel like we want to write a song. Uh, so, a starting template, uh, Sunbox comes with one. If you click Create a New Project, you'll see that you have two options, Empty or Template. If you click Template, you'll see that I already have made a template for myself. But we're going to make a different one than this that's less complicated to make things more simple. So go ahead and create a new project. Click Empty. And we're going to design our template just by putting the modules in our module view that we want to be there. So, let's double click and let's start off with a compressor module. And the reason why we want a compressor is to keep our music from peaking. Peaking is when the sound goes above the digital goes above a digital level which causes speakers to crackle. It goes above zero decibels. Now that sounds kind of weird. Decibels go um, in the digital world. Decibels are negative and then the highest volume is zero decibels. At least the highest volume that doesn't crackle the speakers. And so the compressor will keep the sound of our song from crackling the speakers. Uh, we want uh, to make sure that our speakers don't crackle by adding one more module, though. And this is going to be a distortion module. We're going to add this distortion module, and we're going to set power to 1. And what this will do is, the waveform of your song, if it starts to get to where it's going to peak, this distortion will flatten out the top, keeping it from peaking your speakers. And uh, you can go ahead and set the volume to 127 just to make sure, but it technically isn't necessary if you have your volume at 99% and you have the after volume of the distortion set to 127 or 128. It shouldn't peak at 128, but I just like to be sure. Now we're going to route our modules to the output simply like that. And we have the beginnings of our starting template here. Uh, we should design one more compressor. Let's put an amplifier. And then another compressor. Well, no, I take that back. It's, we don't need the other compressor. Um, if you want to learn about side chaining, there's other tutorials on YouTube. Uh, generally, with my starting templates, I set up another compressor so I can sidechain my drums and make them stand out in the mix a little bit more because I tend to like music with satisfying and punchy drums. But uh, for the music that you'll be creating, this really isn't necessary. Chiptune music isn't really about the drums. It's just about creating a great melody and creating a satisfying song. And... Uh, to save our starting template, we can click Save As. And um, I should have, yes, I have a folder that I've made in my project folders called Starting Templates. Um, if you want to create a folder, you can click Edit and click Create Directory. And you can also create a Starting Templates folder. <laughs> That's funny, I typed in what I said. Starting templates. But since I already have one, I'm not going to press OK. Starting templates. Um, track wrap template is the one that I usually use. It's more complicated. I have kind of a system that I built up over time. What you'll find as you start to become more comfortable with Sunvox's module view is you'll start thinking of new ways of creating a starting template that will greatly make you more efficient at using the program. And I recommend thinking about the module view uh, like you would think about code in your game while you're away from it. 
think about it as a problem to solve. If you're running into things that slow you down, try to creatively come up with problem solving. Try to problem solve using the module view because it's just, there's so many options and you can easily uh, get rid of some of the issues you're having with, say, your creativity by reducing the amount of time you have to spend with technical things. And that's what the module view really helps you with. We're going to save this starting template. We're going to call it Sunbox for Programmers Template. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to set our default template to that project that we just saved. So what you're going to go, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the main menu and you're going to click preferences, which is below touch theremin. And right here on main, you can see there's some buttons for setting or resetting our starting template. Resetting the starting template will reset it to the Sunvox default starting template that comes when you initially download the software. Um, it's a decent starting template. It has some pretty cool instruments and it's fun to mess around with. So if you get the time, it might be fun to reset your starting template. But for now, we're going to set it to what we created. Set starting template. We'll go to starting templates. Sunbox for Programmers, set. All right, now that that's done, if we click New Project and we click Template, this should be the first thing that comes up. Now, how I like to use this is I like to connect all of my instruments to this compressor module. Oh, yes, one thing before we're done. Um, we forgot to set this compressor module to peak zero latency and bring your release down to say 100. Let's go ahead and save to our starting template so it's updated. New project, template. Yeah, so connect your, all your instruments to this compressor and it should keep your volume from peaking um, and just create the instruments that I showed you how to do before. Um, we'll do one more video on this course where I'm just going to do kind of an overview and create a new song completely with all the techniques that I've taught up until this point. And that should just kind of uh, set in stone the things that you've learned as you watch and help you be a little bit faster. I tend to see that when people are first learning a software, one of the main hurdles that they have to face is speed. And once they get the speed down, it seems to really help them with their creativity. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.